Welcome back to episode 3 of Brexit or Bust, the FM22 rebuild of West Ham by only signing homegrown players. Well, the January transfer window has just slammed shut and we've been fairly active in that window, signing three new players to the team with a combined cost of £85 million. Who will be signed, I hear you ask? Well, we'll get into that shortly. Are we still in the European places for next season? We'll all be revealed shortly, but before we do, smash a like on that video, don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't done so, and hit that bell notification to stay up to date with all the goings on in Brexit or Bust. Well, let's jump into the episode. So, I know you're eager to find out who we've signed, and I'm not going to keep you any waiting any longer. Let's see who we've brought to the club. So with the potential that we won't be able to sign Dean Henderson on a permanent basis in the summer, we've had to invest in a potential replacement. We had a look around and Sam Johnstone was available at West Brom for a cut price fee, so we snapped him up. The plan is, if we can't complete the Henderson deal, then we'll look to bring in a young promising keeper next season as back up to Johnson and hopefully be able to develop that younger keeper into something special for the future. Next, we have made two big signings. They are both signings for the future, but I'm also sure they'll be used a lot between now and the end of the season, as I certainly think they'll be able to make an impact this season. Let's find out who they are. The board sanctioned this one, as was a potential deal we couldn't turn down, as Wonder Kid, Nonny Baduki, came available, and we had to beat off some serious competition for his signature. His current ability is good, as Jared Bowen, but I certainly think he has the potential to surpass that and become an outstanding player for West Ham for many years to come. We'll be watching his development with keen eye and hopefully he'll help us compete for our quest of Premier League and European glory. We needed to strengthen in the striker position as we were very heavily reliant on Ollie Watkins and so we were concerned that if he picked up an injury we would struggle for goals. So we again went for a player with potential that could be a world-class star in the future and we signed Liam Delap from Manchester City for £37 million. Pounds. I know it's a big gamble and a lot of money to spend, but I also know that a young English players are not cheap. He has a great, great start to life here at West Ham already with two goals and a man of match performance against Leeds in the FA Cup. He still has a lot to learn, but we can hopefully guide him in the right direction and complete his development and make sure he's a prolific striker for many years to come. So it is, the league table, currently sitting 5th after 24 games. Our form recently slightly dipped a little bit. We've had quite a few draws, but not many losses, which is good. Um, still in the Europa League places, but potentially touching the Champions League places, as it's very tight between 9th and 4th at the moment. So anything could happen between now and the end of the season. Um, let's check over the results that we've had recently while you've been away. So, you last with us, we had, we played Wolves and we won 2-0. We've also then, like I said, had quite a lot of draws and only one defeat. That one defeat came away at Everton at Goodison Park with a 3-2 defeat, which realistically, we should have won that one. Um, as we were by far the better team, we just hit with a sucker punch five minutes per time when Andros Townsend scored um, to make the game 3-2 and they could see out the game then. Um, we've had some good results as well, uh, notably a 4-0 victory over Brentford, uh, whereby Curtis Jones, Chesters, Diallo and Dawson were on score sheets. Then we followed that up with another 3-0 victory this time against Aston Villa. Ollie Watkins getting on the score sheet against his old club. Um, I have to say, Daniel Chesters is leading our top scoring charts at the moment with 13 goals, which would have been outstanding. Um, then we got into a little bit of a rut with a couple of draws, with a 1-1 against Southampton, 0-0 against Leeds, one all against Watford, where realistically we should have beaten them. Uh, we managed to salvage points against Man City in another 0-0 draw, and we've recently just finished off a 2-0 a victory over Aston Villa at Villa Park. Again, Ollie Watkins on the score sheet against his old club. That now leads us to a game today. And that game is going to be Manchester United in the FA Cup fourth round. So here's the lineup for the game against Manchester United. We've had to make a few changes, and especially in the goalkeeper department, as Henderson's illegible and also Sam Johnson's cup tied. So Brian Kinnear comes in goal for his first start of the season. Uh, we've got a back four of Creswell, Jones, Holgate and Johnson. Dawson's picked up an illness, so he's out for this one. 
Rice is back from injury to uh, partner Vieira in midfield with Bowen, Chesters and Maduki up in front of them and Watkins up front. There's plenty of room on the bench for the likes of Lang, Fry, Jones, Longiello, Noble, Delap, Kent, Diallo and Dewsbury Hall. Let's jump into the game. So here we are at the London Stadium. Here's the West Ham lineup for today. Pretty mixed bag with regards to this. Maduki makes his debut on the left hand side and Bowen's moved to the right. United's team, fairly strong team there. Obviously, Sushek's playing against his former team as well because obviously we let go of him in the summer transfer window as obviously he's not part of the homegrown contingents that we're looking to do and keep with this, this squad. We're going to drop it for slightly cautious mentality and just see if we can try and contain Man United. Maduki finds Chester's. Oh, balloon that just slightly. I've got a deflection now, I think. Corner coming in. Bowen with the corner. Loops it in. And it's away. Rashford picks it up, though. And that's that danger pass. So far, so good. We're looking all right. Can't complain so far. Creswell finds Chester's on the edge of the box. Hog with the header clear, finds Rice though, Vieira, Maduki, Chesters, Maduki, long shot from distance, oh that wasn't far off at all, he has impressed in the opening couple of minutes so far though, Maduki, corner for United though, Bruno Fernandes floats it in, and there's Varam to head it over, that's a bit of a let off that one, that's a free header that was. Getting close now. It's a midway point of the first half. Still nil nil here. Opportunity. Chester beats the man at the back post. There's Bowen at the back post. Can he get it in? And Ollie Watkins has made it 1 0. Come on. Ollie Watkins runs away and celebrates with a roll in the corner. Bit of a scramble that was in the box, but we've got it in the box in the end. Chester's. Managed to get to the byline. Dinks his crossover. Bowen tries to have an effort himself. Tries to cut it back though. And then finds Watkins, who's there to smash it in past a helpless David De Gea. Great start from the boys. Keep going. We're going well so far. Doing well. 1 0 up. Getting close to half time now. Just need to see out this danger. Probably spoken too soon then with regards to this. Shaw looking to get to the byline, crosses it in, and there's Ronaldo with the header, and it's been looped over the bar. Nearly half time. Another corner coming in, Fernandez this time. Oof. Luckily, Varane's header was straight at Kinnear. Kinnear's been solid so far, considering he's making his debut today. There it is, people. Half time. So far, so good. In what can only be stride as an okay performance so far by the West Ham boys. We are trying to contain Man United and they're doing a good job so far. So, at the moment, it's 1-0 at the break thanks to that Ollie Watkins goal. Join us in a second for the second half. So, get the second half underway here at the London Stadium. Hoping for more of the same from this West Ham team in the second half. But this United time team are dangerous and all it's going to take is a one opportunity for someone like Ronaldo or Rashford or Bruno Fernandes and we will be in trouble. Sancho, oof, Kinnear, what absolute fantastic save that was. Well, I don't think it was because I think it went over. But it looked like a great save. 60 minute mark now. Maybe look to make a couple of changes shortly though. Still just edging it on possession wise. Containing United well so far. Getting close to that 70 minute mark. We'll look to make a couple of changes, I think, in a minute. We'll see out this first. Sushek against his former teammates. Finds the lot. Let's find Sancho. Low again on the overlap. Ronaldo in the middle. And there it is. That's all it was going to take. Did say. Free header for Cristiano Ronaldo. And you don't need to give him free headers because he'll score. Disappointing. Disappointing. It was a lovely work move for United, but it was too simple. It's a lot with the ball into the box. Ronaldo, free header. 
missed his marker, lost his marker with ease to make it one all. Right, substitution time. Join us in a second. So, triple substitution time here. We've brought on Delap for Watkins, Jones for Bowen, and Kent for Chesters. United in the opportunity again. Fernandez with another ball into the box. Thankfully, that one's gone wide. Time is ticking away here now. We're approaching into the final 10 minutes. I'm essentially going to bring Rice on as well. Off for Noble. Just in the middle of the park because he's only just come back from injury, so we don't want to rush him back. Is there going to be a sting in the tail here at the London Stadium as United counter again? Finds Rashford. Oh, we managed to scramble it clear. Just. Oh, if Maduki's through, he's through. He's on his own. And it's a block tackle there. Well, I think Varane who managed to get back in time before it was actually Luke Shaw. Creswell with the corner. We whip the ball in. And it's cleared away. Jones will pick it up though. Plays it back into the box. Finds Creswell on the overlap. No one there though. United are going to clear. I think that's been a pull back for a foul by Vieira. Final couple of minutes now of injury time. I think this one's heading for a replay. Unless. Matt floats it in. Ooh, I thought Matomini just scored a winner there for United. And there it is. The full time whistle has blown. So our FA Cup dream is still alive for now. Granted, I think we're facing an uphill challenge going all the way back to Old Trafford. It's going to be a completely different atmosphere there at Dyer Ground. And we potentially will struggle. We did last time we were there because we got beat 5-2. And it was a disappointing performance from the boys. But, that being said, hopefully now we can now focus on, on our league form. And carry on trying to complete our objective of, a, of, a, of obtaining a league, European place this season. We, who knows? We may even obtain a Champions League spot. So, that's the end of the episode. Join us next time to see if we can continue this dream of trying to win the Premier League and European glory with West Ham. Have a good day, an even better week. Take care for now. Bye-bye.